she was just mommy to me. You know, she's mommy. She takes care of the home. You're supposed to do this for the children and baby us and be my daddy's wife. So that was the idea that I had. But once I um, got older and started to realize the significance of ministry and her career and even seeing the people that I would listen to and they would be like diehard fans of my mother and I'd be like what you know my mom I'm just amazed by her like I'll go and hear her sing and you probably think I'm a I am a fan of my mom but you would think that I'm a like just a stranger to her because I'm always mesmerized by how she's always growing and challenging herself I remember when she was a little girl and um, I wanted her to sing in the choir and she said, Ma, I don't want to be a part of the choir. I said, don't you see all of those little kids up there? Look at them. Don't you want? No, I don't want to sing in the choir. So finally I said, you the past daughter, you're going to have to be in this choir and sing. So she finally got in there. So the director pulled her out to sing. And she just mesmerized the church. And her, me and her dad was just like teary-eyed, like, Yes, this is what we wanted. So she's finally coming into it. It's almost like it's in the bloodline. My mother, Dr. Maddie Moss Clark, um, she actually prophesied. You know, you're going to have a little girl. She literally told me this. And God is going to take this gift that uh, you all was blessed with and carry it down. I love my mom. I, I absolutely adore her. Um, I have, first of all, I have to catch myself and not get teary out. I'm, getting, I'm a crybaby when it comes to my mommy and my dad. I always felt I wanted to be open because I would hear mothers come to me and say, my daughter, uh, I found this out from somebody else. And I said, let me be open to my daughter. For her to be able to come to me and feel comfortable talking to me about anything she wanted to, whether it be sex or whether it be with her boyfriend, you know, you can talk to me about it. I won't let you feel like I'm going to whoop you. I'm going to whoop you because you know what? You ain't got no business. I always wanted to feel like the girlfriend.